angry. It's an emotion that shows us that something is wrong. But we must have self-control. In James chapter 3, verse 6 to 8, it says, And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. The tongue is so set among our members that it defiles a whole body and sets on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire by hell. For every kind of beast and bird, of reptile and creature of the sea, is tamed and has been tamed by mankind. But no man can tame the tongue, as is in truly evil, full of deadly poison. Today's lesson is about self-control and what our anger may look like. Moving on to our experiment. What we need for this experiment is red water, baking soda, a container, and vinegar. The red water represents us, while the baking soda represents everything that makes us angry, like our problems, temptations, and everything else. The container is just here to make sure that we do not make a mess, and the vinegar shows helps show what our anger will look like when we do not have self-control. The first part of the experiment, we will need the red water. Red water. And baking soda. Baking soda. What we'll do is pour the baking soda into the red water. This represents our sin and temptations and everything like that going to us and making us angry. Now for the next part, we'll use the vinegar and put it into us to represent how we might look when we get angry and when we do not have self-control. Yeah, four. Instead of our anger fueling up like this, we should pray to God and ask for his guidance so that we will have self-control. I hope that you all learned something from today's lesson. Please let us close our eyes and bow our heads for prayer. Dear Father in heaven, I thank you for this Sabbath day that you have given to us. I pray that you will help us keep our temper and keep our anger. Please, I pray for these children. I pray that you will help them keep this lesson in their hearts. And in Jesus' name, amen. Hello everybody, it's Tito Glenn with your birthday shout outs for this week. Today, we'd like to wish a happy birthday to Julianne, who celebrated her birthday on Monday. Next up, we have Clyde, who celebrated his birthday yesterday. Your parents and your Kuya Kiel are proud of your humble achievements in school and church. On behalf of the Mount Zion family and the Pathfinders, we'd like to wish Clyde and Julianne a happy birthday. May God bless you both. That is all for this week. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you next time.